Hello. I wonder what type of person you are. Are you very organised, prepared for every eventuality well in advance? Or are your preparations always last minute? And people would say that you get by by the seat of your pants. Are you spontaneous? Or more likely to think long and hard before you act? Even if you don't think you're very self-aware, you probably know which of these two categories fits you best. I'm definitely lastminute.com. I'm going on holidays on Saturday and the suitcases are still in the roof space. Haircut is Friday morning and what clothes I'm taking is anybody's guess. Well, the weather isn't great, so better wait until closer to the time, probably Friday night. We have friends whose holiday starts long before the travel date with deciding their clothes and having them out on the spare bed for about two weeks. That is never me. It takes all sorts. And as they say, it would be a dull place if we were all the same. I think the jobs we choose either make us who we are, or more likely, we gravitate to jobs that suit our personalities. Nursing suited me, or made me who I am. A four year training course that provided me with a toolbox of skills, and then many years of knowledge that could be applied to whoever or whatever came through the ward door. Spontaneity and thinking on your feet were a must. Of course, planning was essential when ordering supplies, writing policies and training programmes, or when developing new services to meet current needs, like most recently for me, a bereavement response during COVID. All of this was me and my comfort zone. Contracts, economics and the things my boys do for a living are totally alien and of no interest. But as I say, it takes all sorts. Sometimes at work, all the planning in the world would not prepare you for the unknown or unexpected. Sometimes circumstances change suddenly and a day is very different than what you were prepared for. Life's like that too. Sometimes we have to quickly adapt our plans in response to events or experiences like new babies, trauma, illness and death. Look at those poor people in the Greek islands these past few days. Heartbreaking scenes for holiday makers but even more so for residents and all the animals whose homes or lives have been destroyed. God wants us to be spontaneous in our response to him. He has the best plan for our lives and he doesn't want the plans we make to get in the way of our best lives with him. Sometimes he has prepared, been preparing us for a long time before we realise our need of him. Like me, you may have always come to church, heard of his love, sung all the hymns and songs for years before realising Christianity is a personal relationship with God and we need to ask him to be our saviour, our friend, our guide. Sometimes he calls people who have little experience of him and they respond to the wonderful love he shows them in the circumstances they find themselves in and their excitement and rejoicing at his forgiveness and grace adds to the faith of those who help them know and understand him more. As a nurse, I couldn't say, no, the time's not quite right for me to look after this patient. And in the same way, as a young person called by God, I couldn't ask him to wait until I had more time, until I was a bit older, until I was a better person. I spontaneously asked him to help me with my life. If you have heard God calling you or you're prompted to speak to someone about how you feel, please don't keep God waiting. Act now. In this uncertain world, God is a constant, a rock, the rescuer. He is right beside you, and when you turn to him, his arms are open to receive you, just like the father of the prodigal son. In Matthew 11, Jesus spoke about his relationship with his father and what God wants to do for us. Here it is in the message. Put my glasses on. The father has given me all these things to do and say, this is a unique father-son operation, coming out of father and son intimacies and knowledge. No one knows the son the way or no one knows the son the way the father does, nor the father the way the son does. But I'm not keeping it to myself. I am ready to go over it line by line with anyone willing to listen. Are you tired? Worn out? Burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. 
I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Let us pray. Father, you have made us all different and in a way that we all need and complement each other. We thank you for people with organisational skills that keep things running smoothly and for those who look for and see opportunities or needs and quickly respond when required and for everyone in between who has a role in your great plan. I pray for everyone who is considering their place in your world and your place in their life. We all need more of you. May today be a first step or a further step on the path you have prepared for each of us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.